one of the technicians had the needle in her hand in complete tears. And they were told that the dog was crushed, had to be put down. And the head of the shelter walked in and said, we're gonna get a second opinion. This is a different story. When I saw Starfish, I just attached so quickly. You couldn't pick her up like you do a normal puppy. You had to like hold her sideways. She was flat like a pancake, but I just grabbed her. I didn't let her go. Look at you, yay! They were able to diagnose Starfish with swimmer's pup syndrome, which is completely curable. She moved like a swimmer. She moved like you would to be doing breaststroke. All we had to do was get her feet up underneath her. And as soon as we got her onto the grass, she had a little something to hold on to. She just, she'd follow us anywhere. Look who's entering the building. <laughs> Starfish, are you too excited? She had all these other people around her, the animal shelter folks who wanted to get her over to the rehab clinic. And those people knew what they were doing. She responded to everything that they taught her because she wanted it so bad. There you go, yay! You can do it. <laughs> She's like, let's keep walking. I don't usually walk into something like this with any expectation or even any hope. The fact that she works at it so hard gives me hope. The fact that she doesn't know what's wrong with her, she just gets up and does it again and gets better just a little bit every single day. And that's the hope. <laughs> Starfish herself was so determined at every moment to do whatever she could, whether it was, you know, walk down our steps for the first time. I mean, she like practically tumbled down, but she still did it again five minutes later. I knew that she would make progress because she just keeps going after it. She was walking in two months. Running the length of the lawn. It's just like it makes you want to drop to your knees. Like, is this real? She has a tremendous well of inspiration. For us, this like crazy family in San Francisco Bay Area, we need something grounding, and that's Starfish. <laughs> Maybe the most interesting relationship was with my five year old son, because they're kind of like similar development stages. Like, they are both kind of um, spazzy, <laughs> you know, they both are kind of floppy and run around like goofy all the time. They're kind of chums, they're, they're gonna be, uh, they're gonna grow up together. And that determination, that excitement for life was missing for me and I feel lucky that she came our way. <laughs>